Do not be afraid. How good it is to hear these words of consolation when we are worried by our Lord Jesus. Jesus knew few of us need to hear this word from him. Jesus, being the divine person as well as a human person, he again and again said to us, do not worry. We see the words of consolation from our Lord many times in the Gospel. We are reflecting upon the Gospel of St. Matthew chapter 10 verses 26 to 33. In this paragraph also, we see God's verses of consolation, do not be afraid in three times. When Jesus says that we shall not be afraid or we shall not be panic on this life because we have a heavenly father who has a concern for each one of us. Jesus says this, do not be afraid because our heavenly father has great concern for each one of us. We are all sharing the divine sonship with Jesus Christ that our father in heaven who really cares and who really cures our pain and worries that we are facing in our life. Prophet Jeremiah tells us to expel all our fear and worries from our mind because God cares for us and He will protect us from all kind of evils in this world. So He invites us to commit all our causes to God alone. The powerful God will protect us and He will caress and cures all kind of pains and worries in our life. So my dear friends, are you still afraid of this spreading pandemic across the world? Our Jesus Christ reminds us that do not worry because our Heavenly Father has a care for us and He loves each one of us. We should keep all our trust in God alone. As we know that nothing is impossible for God, all those who have full trust and commit oneself to the power of God, the grace of God, they will be saved. St. Paul reminds us that grace of God is great and it is a free gift given to each one of us in and through Jesus Christ. So we need not to be worried or need not to be panic on anything of this world. So my dear brothers and sisters, let us expel all our fear and anxiety from our minds because we should have an unshakable faith in the providence of God. The providence of God will protect us. Wish you all a week of God's providence. Let us trust in God's grace alone. God bless you.